Des vagues de plus de 8 mètres de haut ont déferlé lundi sur les côtes de Grande-Bretagne. Nos voisins d'Outre-Manche sont eux aussi frappés de plein fouet par les intempéries. Les zones côtières sont les plus exposées. Les coefficients de forte marée conjugués à la forte houle ont ainsi causé d'importants dégâts. You know, it's going to cost a lot of money to reinstate the promenade as it as it was before. But I think now is, would be the opportunity to uh, do something that prevents things like this happening in the future. Um, because we could reinstate it, and and a storm like this could could do the same damage again. Pour les résidents, c'est l'inquiétude. Ces inondations ont touché plus de 200 maisons. We've been here 40 years, when, next October now, we've never had it in before. Never, we've never seen anything like it. But, you know, we've enjoyed living here, you know, it's been convenient. And, you know, but, uh, time comes, you've got to think about moving, you know. Au total, l'agence météorologique britannique a placé 217 zones en état d'alerte inondation. So I'd rather they tell me to get out here than take a risk and stay in it. Um, even if they are being overcautious, then I guess it's better that we know and take the necessary action instead of staying in the house and possibly being at risk. Ces derniers jours, au moins une personne est décédée et une seconde est portée disparue en Grande-Bretagne à cause du mauvais temps.